So here we have 9.6, writing the equation of a circle centered at the origin, given its radius or a point on the circle. So it says, give the equation of the circle centered at the origin and passing through the point 0, negative 10. Um, so this one is not passing through the origin. Um, or it is passing through the origin. All of them are passing through the origin. So it says centered at the origin. So I do have it centered at the origin. And then I know that it's also going to go through the point 0, negative 10. So down here at negative 10. So then what is the radius there if that's happening, right? We know that when if this is the center, it should be going out so many, so many units in every single direction. So if the circle is going to pass through this point down here, then that means this is the radius, okay? And so how many units did it go downward? It went down 10 units. So the radius is actually going to be 10 in this case. It doesn't matter what direction it went. All that matters is that it went 10 units out from the center, okay? So it would be nice if they just said, and its radius is 10, right? And then I wouldn't have had to think about it. This one is the harder one where they give you the other point and you've got to think about it. I like to draw it so I can visually see, um, but you have to think about how to get the radius, okay? Um, so once I have the radius and I know that the center is the origin, which is zero, zero, I can um, write that equation and the equation is going to be x minus the x coordinate squared plus y minus the y coordinate squared equal to the radius squared. So you don't really have to write x minus zero, it's just x squared and that's just y squared. And then this would be 100. And so this is the equation that they're looking for. Now keep in mind, if they would have said it was centered at the origin and passing through the point, say, um, 7, 0, then here 0, 0, 7, 0 is over here. And so then again, that would have been the circle, so the radius would have been 7. And so it would have been x squared plus y squared because of the origin equal to 7 squared, which is 49. Okay. And so you just have to make sure that you're starting at the origin. You plot this other point out, figure out what that radius is, and then you can give them the equation. Since it's centered at 0, this is always going to be x minus 0, y minus 0, which means it'll always just be x squared and y squared, but the radius is going to affect the number that's on the other side of the equation.